All right, we got the old Traeger fired up. Uh, we can't go by that. That's why I put one of these in here. Saying 200, so that's pretty close to 400, so I need to tone this baby down. We're gonna put her back down to 250 degrees. Cool down just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and get this Boston butt prepared. Uh, reason I'm done is 11 months ago I done a Boston butt, but I want to do another one uh, today because uh, I've got a lot more subscribers. Thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. But the Boston butt is probably one of the best, one of my most favorite things to smoke out here on the Traeger. It is really good. It's pulled pork. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get started on it. Uh, I think y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, this video, you can tell it's daylight, of course, but by the time we get to the end of this video, it should be pretty entertaining. All right. Thank y'all for watching. All right, guys. Welcome to another cooking adventure. All right. Here's what we got going on. Boston butt, bone in, nearly 17 pounds. All right, tonight is fight night. I'm just gonna show you my little setup we got going on in here. There's some tables, beverages, little heater that's gonna save the night tonight. It's 360 degrees all the way around. My little bar I built. Little video game out here. That actually come from a bar a long time ago. I bought it from the neighbor. We got darts. Then we got our feast table. All right. Let's get started, y'all. We're gonna get started on this Boston butt. It should take roughly six and a half hours, between six and a half, seven hours. So it'll be time for UFC Fight Night 257. All right, guys, let's get cooking. All right, guys. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some rub on there. This is a uh, pulled pork. Yeah, pulled pork rub. Uh, I got it from Walmart. It's Pit Boss. We're doing all this on the Traeger tonight, though. Today, y'all. One thing about a, uh, I know there's a lot of smokers out there. It's got the big time wood that uses real wood to smoke with. Well, that's fine, I'm building one. But when you use a pellet smoker, you gotta do things a little bit differently. For one, you don't get to smoke as much smoke as you do on a you know a big a big wooden smoker. So with that being said. On like a uh, pellet smoker, you've got to uh, you got to you got to really put the uh, rub to them. I don't really think you can put too much rub on them. The more, the better. Uh, now I'm talking on pellet smoker. Like if you do a brisket or something on a uh, regular conventional. Uh, like a reverse flow smoker or, or something like that. You don't have to season them up as much because you're getting a lot more smoke and you leave them on those kind of smokers a lot longer. And a lot of people don't uh, put them in pans and stuff like I do on this pellet smoker. All right. Let's go ahead and flip them over. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some slits in this fat back here. There ain't a lot of fat on these. This is option, optional, y'all. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it because it, it opens that fat up a little bit. Lets a little bit more smoke penetrate the meat. All right. See how we started spreading open? All right, now let's put some more rub. on the fat side. Now I've done these a couple ways, fat side up, fat side down, but today I'm doing fat side up. Uh, actually, during the smoking process, when I got it, you know, not in the pan yet, <clears throat> I'll do it fat side up. But when we get ready to put them in the pan, I'll flip them and put it fat side down. All right, there's the famous butt rub, y'all. All right. All right, there you go, y'all. Let's get these bad boys on the smoker. There we go, fat side up. All right. Now every hour, come out here and spray apple juice on them. So I'll do it three times in three hours. All right, guys, stick around. It's gonna get good. All right, guys, it's been three hours. Now that is Celsius, 125 degrees Celsius. That comes up to about 250 something degrees uh, Fahrenheit. All right, we're gonna get these off here and into the pan. Be back in a second, y'all. All right, you can see right here, guys, we got the fat cap up. You can see we're loosened up there. Now what we're gonna do, get my big old claws in here. We're gonna flip it. Put the fat side down. Guys, it's been six hours exactly. All right, let's get the little Insta Red thermometer in there. See what it says. All right. 
we are at actually let me get this where we can see it we are I think dead on y'all 200 degrees on that one let's check this one Six hours. All right, let's dig into it and finish this video. All right, guys, we're getting ready to watch this fight here. Uh, <laughs> we're getting ready to watch this fight. 257. Anyway, say hi, Bill. Bill's always up the case. There you go. All right, here we go. Ah, I got y'all. All right, we're gonna do. All right, we're getting ready to uh, do this sport. It's been on here. All right, let's go get it up here. Get my calls out. Okay, I get it. All right, we've done. All right, we've done three hours smoking on the smoking. Okay, and then we done. And then we done in the pan three hours in the pan. Now, guys, this is about 260, 270. Hey, speak up. All right. So now check it out. There you go, y'all. There's one bone. Falling off, ain't it, Bill? There's the second bone. All right, y'all. We're going we to pull this apart and put it on some sandwiches. All right, listen, y'all. If you not like and subscribe to my channel, Please like and subscribe. Here's the pulled pork. Six hours, y'all. Six hours, not 12 or 14 hours. All right. There you go. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. We'll catch you on the next week's adventure, y'all. Next Tuesday.